I welcome you to the video show of the Travel Talk. The Travel Talk is trying to make your tours to different cities in India more interesting and enjoyable by providing correct, genuine and authentic information about the place. In this video, we are taking up the city of Old Delhi. Delhi is of great historical significance and also it has remained in important commercial, transport and cultural hub as well as the political center of India since centuries. The area around Delhi was probably inhabited before the second millennium BC. The city is believed to be the site of Indraprastha, the legendary capital of the Pandavas in the Indian epic Mahabharat. The earliest architectural relics date back to the Mauryan period of 300 BCE. In the year 1966, an inscription of the Mauryan Emperor Ashoka was discovered near Srinivaspuri in Delhi. Remains of several major cities which came up in Delhi from time to time have been found to be spread all over the city. Among the prominent dynasties which made Delhi their capital were Chauhans, the Tughlaqs, the Khiljis and the Mughals. It was the Mughal king Shah Jahan who established a new city on the beautiful bank of Yamuna River, named as Shah Jahanabad, between 1638 to 1649, which comprised of the Red Fort, the Chandni Chowk and the Jama Masjid, and shifted his capital to Delhi from Agra. Delhi became the center of power since then. The Red Fort witnessed many ups and downs, including the loot and plunder by the Iranian invader Nadir Shah in 1739, who took away the famous peacock throne from the Diwane Khas of the Red Fort and the Diamond Kohidur. This incident broke the backbone of the Mughal Empire. It gradually became very weak, so much so that the rule of Mughals did not extend beyond the Yamuna River. British took over the Red Fort in 1857 after sending the last Mughal ruler, Bahadur Shah Jafar, in exile to modern-day Myanmar. Just about a century ago, the British moved the seat of their empire from Kolkata to Delhi. The Lutians Delhi was developed between 1911 to 1931 to become the seat of national government. This part of the city was known as New Delhi, while the city around the Red Fort as Old Delhi. Delhi now a thriving cosmopolitan metro has much to celebrate as it has already reached the milestone of completing 100 years as a capital. With a history that goes back many centuries, Delhi showcases an ancient culture and a rapidly modernizing city. Even today, one can have a fascinating glimpse into the past in old Delhi with its labyrinth of narrow lanes old havelis and colorful bazaars. Rickshaws wind their way through the crowded, bustling capital of the Mughals, where life continues much as it did hundreds of years ago. The list of places you must visit in Old Delhi is rather long. However, the major ones are discussed in this video. The Red Fort Red Fort, popularly known as Lal Kila, is the pride of the nation. It is a historic fort situated in the older part of the city. Lal Kila served as a primary residence for Mughal emperors who ruled the city for about 200 years. It was 1856 that the Mughals had resided in Lal Kila. In 1638, the Mughal emperor Shah Jahan moved the capital of this empire from Agra to a newly constructed city in Delhi that he called Shah Jahanabad. Along with the construction of this new city, he laid the foundations of his palace, the Red Fort. The massive walled citadel with red sandstone walls took nearly a decade to complete. Ustad Ahmad Lahori was its architect, comprising of many buildings with intricate carvings, floral motifs, double domes and majestic defense wall of around 2.5 kilometers. Red Fort is spread over an area of 255 acres. It is considered to be better planned than the Agra Fort. As Shah Jahan 
learned from this, his experience of living there. The last Mughal emperor, Bahadur Shah Jafar, was coronated here in 1837, during which time it is said that his powers did not extend beyond the boundaries of his palace. The architecture of the Red Fort is the culmination of the Mughal style of architecture that began with the first emperor and that involves a fusion of Persian, Timurid and Hindu traditions. After entry to the fort, you pass through the Chatta Chowk. Its vaulted arcade is a local market that sells tourist trinkets. One can reach the main compound of Lal Kila after passing through the Chatta Chowk. Like in most Mughal forts, among the key places to visit inside the fort are the Diwane Aam, Hall of Public Audience, and the Diwane Khas, Hall of Private Audience. This fascinating building comprises of drum house, the hall of public audiences, the white marble hall of private audiences, the pearl mosque, royal baths, and palace of colors. The palace not only showcases the architectural brilliance of Shah Jahan, but also gives a reasonably good picture of Islamic architecture of those times. However, the fort saw enough destruction during the invasion of Persian ruler Nadir Shah during the weak Mughal rule under Muhammad Shah in 1739, followed by the intrusion of British in the revolt of 1857. It is estimated that Nadir Shah took away with him treasures worth as much as 700 million rupees. Among a trove of other fabulous jewels, Nadir also looted the Kohinoor diamond and took away the peacock throne which was supremely extravagant, costing twice as much as the construction of the Taj Mahal. The booty they had collected was loaded on 700 elephants, 4,000 camels, and 12,000 horses. The Red Fort still stands magnanimous in the cultural and political scene of the country. Each year on the Independence Day, on 15th August, India's Prime Minister hoists the Indian flag and delivers his speech to the nation. The Red Fort was honored to be a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2007. The Red Fort is a major attraction for tourists visiting the city all around the year. One of the major attractions of Lal Kila is the evening light and sound show. India's glorious history is recreated every evening during the show. Chandini Chowk Chandni Chowk or the Moonlight Square is one of the memorable gifts of the Mughal era that Delhi cherishes till date. Being one of the oldest and busiest markets of the country, Chandni Chowk is a center of attraction for traders besides the tourists who come to visit the city. Chandni Chowk was designed and built by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan's favorite daughter Jahan Ara Begum in 1650 CE. The marketplace was 40 yards wide and 1,520 yards long. The term Chandni Chowk originally referred only to the square that had a reflecting pool. Now the whole straight road, which runs through the middle of the walled city, from the Lahori gate of the Red Fort to Fatehpuri Masjid, is called Chandni Chowk. The road was then divided into three bazaars, namely Urdu Bazaar, Johri Bazaar, and Fatehpuri Bajar. Chandni Chowk had several streets running off it, which were called Kuchas. Each Kucha usually had several Katras, which in turn had several Havelis. Kucha Mahajani is one of the biggest gold trading hub and wholesale jewellery market in Asia. Delhi's most famous mosque, Jama Masjid, built in 1650, nearby is the most famous religious shrines. There are many others belonging to the multiple religions. They include Sri Digambar Jain Lal Mandir, established in 1656, Gauri Shankar Temple, established in 1761, Central Baptist Church, built in 1814, Gurdwara Gan Sahib, the ninth Sikh Guru Teg Bahadur, and his followers Bhai Matidas, Bhai Dayaldas, and Bhai Satidas 
were executed nearby the Mughals in 1675. The Gurudwara in the form of memorials were built in 1783 after Delhi was captured by the Khalsa under the command of Bhagel Singh. The Sunahri Masjid was built in 1721 by Roshan Udullah Zafar Khan in the reign of Muhammad Shah. The Persian invader Nadir Shah spent several hours on the top of the mosque on 11th March 1739 to observe the Katliyam that he had ordered, which resulted in 30,000 deaths. The Fatehpuri Masjid was built by Fatehpuri Begum in 1650, one of the queens of the Shah Jahan. The present day outlook of the Chandni Chowk. Chandni Chowk speciality is its variety and authentic food, delicacies and sweets of more than 1,000 kinds, saris with chicken and zari. Narrow lanes host shops that sell books, clothing, electronics, consumer goods, shoes and leather goods. The main markets in the area are Bhagirath Palace for electrical goods, lamps and light fixtures. Dariba Kala for silver and gold jewellery. This market also offers trophies, shields, mementos and related items. Bazaar Gulyan shops selling metallic and wooden statues. Nai Sadak for stationery, book paper and decorative materials. Chaudi Bazaar for greeting and wedding cards. Lal Kuma for hardware and hotel kitchen equipment. Khari Bauli for all kinds of spices, dry fruits, nuts, herbs, grains, lentils, pickles, and preservatives. Tilak Bazaar, for industrial chemicals. About Jama Masjid. Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan founded the walled city of Shah Jahanabad, now known as Old Delhi. The Jama Masjid was commissioned to be the central mosque of the new city. The cost to build the mosque came to a whooping 1 million rupees at that time. The mosque houses several relics of Islamic religion's significance like an age-old transcript of the Quran printed on deer skin, the footmarks, sandals and red beard hair of the Holy Prophet Muhammad. The mosque was completed in 1656 AD with three great gates, two 40 meters high minarets, constructed with the strips of red sandstone and white marble. The courtyard can accommodate more than 25,000 people. There are three domes on the terrace, which are surrounded by the two minarets. On the floor, a total of 899 black borders are marked for worshippers. After the British victory in 1857, they confiscated the mosque and stationed their soldiers here. They also wanted to destroy the mosque as an act of punishment to the city, but due to the opposition faced, the demolition was not done. Darya Ganj Darya Ganj is inside the walled city of Sahajanabad. The Darya refers to the river Yamuna, which was just outside the walled city. It starts at Delhi Gate at the edge of Netaji Subhash Road, which goes towards the Red Fort. East of Darya Ganj was Rajghat, gate of walled city, opening of Rajghat on Yamuna River. As the new capital Delhi was being built after 1911, Darya Ganj along with Pahar Ganj were only two buffer areas between the new city and the older city, which started being called the walled city by 1931. Darya Ganj continues to be a major commercial hub of modern old Delhi. Netaji Subhash wrote, that begins from Delhi Gate and goes towards the historic Red Fort, Jama Masjid and Chandni Chowk, passes through the middle of the area, which is a short walk away. Daryaganj is also famous for its all-time favorite markets like the Sunday Book Market or the Kitab Bazaar that is held every Sunday on street pavements. The market established around 1964 today stretches almost 2 kilometers and one may find books on virtually any topic here at throwaway prices. Old Delhi's long glorious history and it start, had started dwindling after Nadir Shah's loot and plunder. The events of 1857 completely marked a break from the past.
Mirza Asadullah Ghalib poetry and letters captures the decline and devastation of Delhi as also the changing patterns of life in its beloved city it is one of the paradoxes of history that great literature and serious philosophical thoughts have often flourished during turbulent periods in history despite economic decline and social disintegration delhi retained the cultural richness jointly built by hindus and muslims there was no dearth of gaiety in festivals and there were clubs for kite flying archery and swimming attended by both the communities at this time diwan khanas were the venues of poetics and intellectual gatherings the evening sessions they are devoted to intellectual activities they had become cradles of literature and scholarship ghalib had put things often so philosophical and abstract that it defies easy interpretation ghalib's sensitivity had not remained unaffected by the events of 1857 ghalib was tossed around by the turbulent waters and his sufferings emotions and sensitivity shaped the contours of his poetry i am sure during your stay in delhi you will be visiting the famous monuments and locations in the city the knowledge makes your visits more enjoyable and complete in order to get complete and authentic information about a monument or sub monument you need only your phone in your hand and the active app the travel talk on it please open the app and get instant information about the monument sub monuments as per your location picked up by your phone by itself on the basis of your gps location enjoy listening watching and reading as per your choice happy travelling